What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today we're making stuffed peppers. That's right, stuffed peppers. It's one of my favorite dishes to make. I love it. It's not spicy unless you want it, so don't worry about that. It is definitely colorful, kind of like my shirt, but <laughs> that's why I kind of, it's kind of why I'm wearing it. So everybody stick around for that. If you are new to the channel, what we do here is we try to simplify the cooking process, make it easy and fun. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. And if you're a current subscriber, thank you for all your support. We really do appreciate it. Keep hitting that thumbs up and commenting down below. Everybody, let's get cooking. All right, here we go. We've got four beautiful bell peppers, yellow, red, orange, and green. Uh, the, they are not spicy at all so I don't want you to worry about that we want to slice the tops off of these and then get your uh, paring knife and just take out those little membranes and just pop that little center seed ball right out of there and that will give you minimal seeds that you have to deal with to clean up and then you clean them up you can pull them out with your fingers you can grab a little spoon whatever you want and those tops we're gonna save for later use I'm gonna speed up here for a little bit so same thing here, we're gonna just take off the tops, take out the center seed ball, and save those tops, because we're gonna chop them up and use them in just a sec. All right, last one here, and this is what it looks like. Very nice. Next up, we bake these at 350 for 15 minutes, okay? We're just gonna give these a head start. We wanna make sure that they are cooked all the way through once we're done. Now we're just going to dice up our tops. You want to give them a nice medium dice. And yes, we're going to use these to stuff our peppers. So not only are our peppers going to have a beautiful color, but so will the stuffing. Next up, we take a large onion and we're going to use half of it. Or you can just use one small onion and we, same thing, we're going to dice these up. Chop, chop, chop and set those off to the side as well. And we're gonna, we're gonna cook both the peppers and the onions at the same time, so we uh, do that. Now we have some parsley, about a handful. We're gonna chop this up nice and fine, and that's gonna go in the stuffing as well. 15 minutes is up, we take our peppers out. They are perfect. They're not cooked, but they have a nice head start. Now, we're gonna heat up our pan with some olive oil and we are going to saute our onions and peppers we got it at about medium heat here medium high heat salt some pepper as well and we're just going to cook these until they get about they get translucent uh, about three or four or five minutes something like that depending on the temperature once they're translucent flip them around a little bit looking good we're going to add our parsley. Mix it up. Get that aromatic in there. You can smell it really good. And next up, we add our beef. We have about a pound and a half of 80-20 ground chuck and a half a pound of Italian sausage that I had left over. I took off the casings and kind of chop them up and we are going to brown this meat so you can do this at separate times or you can do it all together I decided to do it all together so this here is cumin it's about a tablespoon and then we add some crushed red pepper flakes that is about a half a tablespoon this is optional this is going to give it a little bit of heat not too much but just a little bit same thing we stir it up incorporate all those spices that we just added we're gonna add a little bit more salt here because we added that beef and that's almost two pounds of beef or about two pounds of beef so we need to add a little bit of salt to that as well and just mix it up really well next up we are going to add some fresh grated parmesan cheese i love the flavor profile of the parmesan cheese it's not going to get all gooey like uh, other types of cheeses, so you won't even know it's in there, but the taste is incredible. So we add that and then mix it up. There's a lot of mixing up 
with this dish. There's a lot of ingredients, but it's not difficult at all. And then next, our Sazon seasoning, which is my favorite go-to. This is just going to kick the flavor to another level. If you've never tried this, you have to. It's, it's excellent. I highly recommend it. So we mix that up, and then we add our tomato sauce. Eight ounces here. Just incorporate that really well. Looking good, and you can see how it looks after I get it mixed up uh, better. And then we add, this is a cup, uh, a cup and a half actually of rice. This is leftover rice that I had. You can do a cup, you can do a cup and a half, you can do two, whatever it takes, whatever you need. You can always add more. And this is kind of what our stuffing looks like right here. This is exactly how it should look. It looks awesome. Now we start filling the peppers, or stuffing the peppers, I should say. So get yourself one of these rice spoons. It makes life easier. And start stuffing those peppers one at a time. You want to get them packed. Pack them in as good as you can. You don't want them all loose. You want to get as much meat and mixture in there as you can. So we're going to speed it up here just a bit. You definitely want to try not to make a mess, but you're going to make a little bit of a mess, and that's okay. <laughs> it's just going to burn a little bit on the bottom of the pan. It looks good. All right. Peppers are stuffed. We're going to add some more Parmesan cheese on top, which, again, great flavor. And then on top of that, we're going to add some mozzarella cheese shredded. Just like that. Not too much, not too little, but a nice topping that's going to melt and just give it that um, little crusty brown cheese top that you want on your stuffed pepper. Put it in for 30 minutes at 350. Take it out, and this is what it looks like. Uh, yeah, <laughs> these came out absolutely perfect. Check these out. They look great. I cannot wait. It is done, and at this point, I am absolutely starving. Hoo-wee! <laughs> All right, you know I like colorful shirts, and I definitely like colorful dishes, and this is a magnificent-looking, colorful, stuffed peppers. Looks Phenomenal. I cannot wait to dig in, but first, a close up. All right, the handles are okay. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. Look at those stuffed peppers. Those came out absolutely beautiful. Ow, it's hot. <laughs> All right, I am not going to stick it on a dish. I am just going to dig right in. Uh, let's give it a taste because I am loving the way it's looking, I'm loving the way it's smelling, and I love stuffed peppers. Here we go. I'm going to do the yellow. Here we go. Let's cut into it. Oh, oh look at that. It's staying together nicely. Oh, man. There's our stuffing. Mm. Nice and hot. Mm. Oh, the flavors are absolutely ridiculous. Let's try it with some pepper. Mm. 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 That is so delicious. You guys have got to try this. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So you've got the meat, that sausage and beef combination. Tastes phenomenal. You've got that Parmesan cheese in there. You've got the mozzarella on top. Not too much. I've seen people go crazy with the cheese. Actually, I like it better with less cheese. 
because this is all about the stuffing, the meat, the rice, the tomato sauce, all stuffed in that pepper. That's what it's about. It's not so much about the cheese. Don't get me wrong, I love cheese. I was thinking about loading it up with tons of cheese, but I backed off a little bit and look at look how good it looks. And the taste is absolutely perfect. So follow this recipe, tell me what you think about it, and uh, tell me which color you like the best. That's what I wanna hear from you. So everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out.